Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sally's Recipe of the Week, brought to you by Doris Italian Market and Bakery. And as always, welcome to Casa de Mo and Sally. It's a little noisy tonight because one of our cats is complaining. <laughs> and Mo, do you want me to put him up or are you going to... I don't away? care. It's, it doesn't yes, matter. Yes, you seem to no. get out of No. 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 Yeah, that's, that's great. Turk. That's Turk. Hey, Curtis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why don't you add to the little fuel to the fire, Curtis? All we need is this one over here to start me out, and then we'll have like a symphony. Um, so, he's actually just fine. He does this all the time. Um, so tonight we're making, well, SOS? Shit on a shingle. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to clean it up for the kids, it's uh, reindeer poop on a shingle. Uh, Peter Glogner is joining us. Uh, Hi, Peter. Karen says, meow. Vicky, holla. Hey, Peter, are you coming down? He says, see you soon. Yeah, we're going to see him Christmas. Uh, Heidi is joining us. Uh, hi, Kim. We opened up your gift today, Kim. Awesome, awesome stuff. Well, yeah, I got to post that video of us opening that stuff up. Yeah, we made a video, and Curtis is going to post that. It's three days long because Mo's very uh, <laughs> particular about opening things. It uh, takes Mo a minute, shall we say, to open stuff. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Bear. Hi, Bear. Uh, oh, Peter's going to see us at Tim and Greg's. Yes. And Marnie, thanks for joining us. Uh, hi, Milton. Hi, Milton. Hi, guys. Hi, Marnie. Um, yeah, we're making what's affectionately called shit on a shingle. SOS. And this recipe has been around forever. It's very popular in um, the world wars because it's cheap and it's good and it's hearty. Um, but I've uh, kind of updated it a little bit. So... Uh, like I was saying on, on the show this morning, there's a million different ways to make this, and this is just one way, okay? Um, before we do our appetizer, why don't we go and get the mushroom started? So, Curtis, if you'd switch to the other camera, we're going to start with the mushrooms. Okay. A little bit of olive oil. I did roll up into uh, Doris today, and uh, I asked Jake, the wine guy, I said, uh, okay, so what pairs well with shit on a shingle? And he knew what we were talking of about. Of course he did. Why are you moving that? Because um, we want to see the pan, don't we? Well, yeah, we're supposed to be on the other camera. We are on the other camera. Okay. We are, we're on this camera. Okay. I thought I set it up okay. All right. So, Mo's just being Mo. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a better shot of the pan itself. So we're going to just brown some mushrooms and a little bit of olive oil. I, I, these mushrooms were pre-sliced, I got them at door, so I cut the bigger pieces in half. You don't want it too hot, but you do want things to cook down. And remember guys, when we first start browning mushrooms, what do we not do? You guys never remember anything I say. We can't hear you over the cat normally, so uh, remind us, what do we... Don't salt them. Don't, don't salt don't, the mushrooms. Don't salt them until they cook down, okay? So, let's get let our mushrooms brown and let's go try an appetizer. So we're switching cameras again? Yep, back to you, Mo. All right. Going over to the Apps Nook. Should have gotten some pops on that. Uh, by the way, this is what, um, this is the wine that Jake recommended to pair with SOS. Yes. Angeline Pinot Noir. And we don't drink a lot of Pinot Noir, but I actually had a little taste there and I liked it. It's good, it's okay. very good. So, um, Doris has these little mini bell peppers, which I absolutely love. They're on sale right now. Speaking of on sale, so is this. Oh, yes. That was only like uh, 13 bucks. Okay. So a uh, good deal on that wine. Yeah. Mini all peppers, right. all I did was I sliced them. I roasted them a little bit with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then I stuffed them with goat cheese and cream cheese and just herbs. Herbs that I have, like mint, basil, uh, a little bit of chive and parsley. All right. And you can take them by the stem if you want. Just pop them in your mouth. Don't eat the stem though. Isn't that good? Mm. Rachel, Rachel Beth says, hi, Mo and Sally. Good evening. Hi, Rachel. Who is that? Rachel. I'm going to stir. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Kathy. Roland is up in here. Which, by the way, Roland is on the uh, naughty list I checked today. So is Vicky. And Curtis. Hi, Rita. 
Uh, Kim, nothing broke. No, it was all good. No, there was nothing broke. None of the ornaments broke. It was all great. I didn't throw anything at Mo's head. It's fine. I know you wanted to. <laughs> I don't have another one of these. They are good. And then after I stuffed them, I slid them back in the oven just so the cheese melts a little bit. This one has no stem on it, so I can eat the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kathy. <clears throat> Hmm. They're really good and really easy. And if you like little mini bell peppers like I do, I love them. And you again, could even put some um, red pepper flakes in there if you want a little spice. There Where do you think is. you're going? What do you, hey, hey, what do you, it's a wrap. You have a wrap. <laughs> That's our noisemaker. That was about the size of the lizard that uh, Curtis and I encountered <laughs> yesterday. It might have been bigger than Turk. <laughs> Turk's a very little cat. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. These are really good. You should try these. All right, let's move back over to the mushrooms. We're just letting them brown and cook down. You can switch the camera if you want. Our Christmas tree. Oh, we're switching the cameras. Oh, my goodness. Um, mushrooms are not like originally in this recipe. And what I'm going to use. Um, I'm using ground beef and ground pork. A lot of times with this recipe, it's that, what are they called? Chip beef, which comes in a jar or a packet. And it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of beef jerky. Um, that's the original meat that was put in this recipe. Like I said, it's been, you know, it's really old. And you can still make this recipe with that. I just find it very salty. So if you like salt, that, that's good for you. Okay, so our mushrooms are cooked down pretty nice. What we're going to do now is I'm going to add some garlic, just chopped up garlic. And you can smell it. And you just want to stir that garlic around until it gets nice and fragrant. Whew. Garlic is in a little bit of water, which is okay, because it'll, it'll burn right off. You better get out of here. <laughs> And now we can season with a little salt and pepper because the mushrooms are cooked down. I'm seasoning every layer of this dish with some salt and pepper. Now what I did guys before you guys joined us, just to save a little time, I went ahead and I put some onions in this pan with some olive oil and slowly sweated them down with a little salt. And then I put the ground beef and the ground pork and ground it. And then I put it in a strainer to strain off some excess fat. Because this is a pretty, well, it wasn't um, Jake telling us that this is a pretty heavy dish. Mm -hmm. So you don't want too much fat in it because we're going to put cream and sour cream in here. Well, that's why I did, he said the Pinot Noir. We needed, he said we needed a light red wine to cut through the acidity, I think yes. is what he said. Oh, I think, yes. He's, to so, cut through the thickness, we needed some acidity to cut through all There the you go. So he said a light red wine, and that's why he recommended some Pinot Noirs. And I like this. I don't normally, I'm not a usually, usually a big fan. Okay, so our pan is ready. We're going to add, again, onions the ground beef and the ground pork. You don't have to use pork if you don't want to. I've, and just put that right back in the pan. And let it warm up. This would be the S on the shingle. <laughs> the shingle is the toast. The shingle is the toast, yes. This is the S. In case you were wondering, Curtis. I was. <laughs> Well, when you see the finished product, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and again, for the kids, reindeer poop. Reindeer poop on a shingle. Because, you know, Santa did it in one of the reindeer's time. Just call it reindeer poop on the roof. <laughs> That's not bad either. Poop on the roof. Oh, and with this um, dish I was mentioning on the show, you can breakfast, lunch, or breakfast, dinner, or an appetizer. If you want to make it for dinner, use, like, bigger pieces of bread. I'm just going to use some French bread. Turk, shut your hole. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we're going to take about a tablespoon of flour, just all-purpose flour, and sprinkle it yet over the meat. Flour? 
Yeah, because that thickens the sauce first. But you, you want to put it on while the meat is cooked, is rewarming, because the last thing you want is raw flour. So you stir that in there so the flour cooks as well. Hmm. Yeah. Because raw flour does not taste good. Heidi says in school they did it on mashed potatoes. Did they call it the same thing? What did they call it when you were in school? Interesting, uh, yeah. You know, I've, I've heard it on mashed potatoes before. I also heard it on a baked potato. Ooh, that sounds good. Didn't yeah. think about that. Yeah. If you don't want to do the bread. Yeah, I wonder what they call it on mashed potatoes. Yeah, I was looking up this recipe to kind of find out a little bit of the history. and I found out about... That would be like poop on snow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is kind of what it would look like, right? Okay, so you see how the flour has kind of all disappeared? That's what you want. You want to let it cook. You don't want to... How, long, how long is the cooking time on this? Do we... Are you know? No, no, no. I'm wondering for if people want to know, how long do you cook this in this in this state, at this stage? Oh, about a minute. The okay. flour... Okay. Because all the all the beef and pork is already cooked. Gotcha. And the and the um the mushrooms are cooked. So it's all in the instructions. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh guys, by the way, if you look at the recipe, Sally forgot one kind of important thing: the bread. <laughs> but I'll fix that. <laughs> I was looking at it going, yeah, I forgot to put the bread in there. So um, you can get the recipe at 1055online.com, and maybe Curtis put it in the feed. I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe, maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. Okay, you can use whole milk, you can use half and half, you can use what you have. I always have half and half, so that's what I'm using, about a half a cup. And you might need to add a little more as you go along. It really just depends on how thick you like it. But remember, you want it to sit on top of some bread. Uh, I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. All right, Heidi so says they called it mashed potatoes and hamburger gravy, and Mark says they called it potato turbate. What the hell is a turbate? Uh, uh, potato are you did he is that a typo is it potato turds no that's what potato turbake turbate Tur okay. like, <laughs> like without the mass part <laughs> okay a couple of tablespoons sour cream And then we're just going to let this thicken up guys. I'm probably going to add a little more happening. Do you see a bunch of lunch ladies sitting around in a meeting going, okay, we can't call this shit on a shingle. What are we going to call it? <laughs> I'm so afraid I was going to say that on the show today. What are you making? Shit on a shingle? <laughs> <laughs> ah, would anybody care anymore? I don't think anybody would have noticed. Okay, and now about a tablespoon of Worcestershire. That just gives it some really good flavor. Can anybody really say that word? I can't. I can't. Worcestershire. I, can spell it. I always have to spell it. Worcestershire. There, I think I got a pretty, I got a pretty good handle on that. Worcestershire. And guys, you can top this with whatever you like. You don't have to top it with anything at all if you don't want to. Um, I was recommending maybe chives or some Parmesan cheese. No, you're really trying to fancy this up. Uh, scallions. Again, really trying to put extra stuff up in there. <laughs> What's that? So she put extra stuff up in there. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's just adding stuff to well, make it look pretty. Well, that's Doris today. He's like, oh, you're fancying up a very, you know, rustic old dish. And I said, well, yeah, kind of, trying to. Yeah, he knew exactly what we were talking about. Yeah. Did he, didn't he say in his 30 years as a sommelier, he has never had anybody ask him oh, what was, wine to pair with him? Was oh, it's a first. I, I would have felt honored. 30-year career. I, I feel honored. But I'm the one who asked him. All right. So let's give it a taste. Make sure, you know, there's enough salt, pepper, Worcestershire, whatever. Mm. You're still on this camera. Do you want, you want on the other no, camera? We're good. I'm going to add just a little more salt and a little more pepper. I think okay. people are tired of looking at a pan of beef. Okay. Move the camera. All right, switch the cameras, Chris. And put it on your face instead. Put the heat down so we don't burn anything. And let's go make our bread. Where are we going with the bread? Right here. All right. Got this beautiful French bread. You could buy, uh, Doris has lovely Italian bread. I just got the French because I wanted them small for us. 
you can get the Italian, it's bigger. This is on sale as well. I brushed it with some olive oil and I'm just gonna sprinkle it lightly with some garlic powder. Ooh, so it's gonna be garlic toast. Turk, shut up! Hey, turkey. All right, and some onion powder, just a little bit, because we do have onions in the um, shit part of the shit on the shingle. Onion powder. Mm, I can't really see. It's okay. And garlic powder, just a little bit. But again, I brushed it with olive oil. We're just gonna pop it in the oven and toast it. If you're just joining us, we're making shit on a shingle. <laughs> That's why we just supposed to call it SOS so we don't get in trouble. Oh, okay. Are we gonna Sorry. Get, are we gonna get in trouble? Uh, SOS brought to you by Doors Italian Market and Bakery. Yeah, I don't know if Doors. Yeah, I don't want know if Doors won't cuss it all up in their videos. That's all I'm saying. Okay. All right. It's uh, reindeer poop. Uh, poop on a roof. All right. So we got that going on. We got that going on. We got this going on. That's the S mm -hmm. on the shingle. We got this going on. What? What? <laughs> You're making way too much noise. Kim says her cat does that when when uh at the front door when he wants to eat. Is this one hungry? He's always hungry. He wants a treat. No, he's not hungry. There's another. There's a cat on the other side of that door that he wants to get to. And he wants. And there's gonna be a cat on the other side of that door too. Well, why don't you guys get into it? They do. All right. All right, while, while that's toasting, I'm just going to grate some Parmesan cheese. I'm going to put a little Parmesan cheese on top mm -hmm. and some chives. All right, people have seen you do that before. I'm going to go right. back over here. Uh, <laughs> what a hoe. <laughs> people know how to grate cheese. I'm just going to go ahead here and pour. You don't. You don't know what I know. Yeah, I do. Pour some more yeah. of this uh, Angeline Pinot Noir on sale. That's what Jake recommended to have with the SOS. I'm going to have another appetizer here, another stuffed pepper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Honda Classic Ambassador glass. Got the Honda Classic Ambassador party, holiday party tomorrow night. Same time that we're having the office holiday party. Uh-huh. Our timing was great. Everybody's doing stuff tomorrow. Curtis yeah, Curtis, can't even... you have to go somewhere tomorrow, right? Yeah. I got to go see a musical about a genie. At the press? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I think so. But damn, Curtis, you have to miss the holiday office party. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just boil the bread so it goes faster. Because that's kind of what we're waiting for. And I am notorious for burning bread. So I always Rachel to... huh? Rachel says every Rachel says everything looks amazing, Sally. It's her first time catching a live. Oh. Well thank you. Let's show Rachel around. We've got our Christmas tree. Oh Christmas tree. Oh is Christmas that a dead tree. body in front of that thing? What is that? 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 Yeah. That's a gnome. Oh, he's all slumped over. What's wrong with him? He's driving. He's kind of Sally thinks he's creepy. He is. He don't have no eyeballs. He just driving with no he got his hat over his eyes. What is he doing? Yeah. That's why he's running into the tree. See, last year or well, the last a couple of years ago, I wanted to have the car. You see, I used to ride that little pedal car when I was a kid. I still have it. I wanted to have it like jacked up in front of the tree and have his ass like sticking out of the tree like he the tree. like a whole accident scene and sally was like no we're not going to do that <laughs> i thought that would have been great fun just have all the presents scattered around it's like he just ran into the tree and have his butt sticking out right here yeah that was like yeah, the old the old moment sally morning show logo which i designed all right that's the tree, and we are making spirits bright. Mm -hmm. All right. What now? Wine cork, Christmas tree. Shocking. Did you make that? 
No, I didn't make that one. No. Didn't make that. So coming back around. Yep. Rolling. That's the vintage logo. Sally's getting more. Oh, hey, guys. Look at this. I got a jasmine tree. Heidi says uh, she extended her happy hour because of us. Oh, thank you. Oh no, I'm start Heidi. I'm starting to think that every hour after work is happy hour. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so oh, Bear, I didn't see that you requested to see the tree. So look at me, I was right on it. We got this little jasmine tree from um, our neighbors. Lavender. That's not jasmine. It's lavender. Lavender. I'm sorry, lavender. Um, from our friends Bob and Michelle, and I love it. I've never cooked with lavender. Yeah, uh, brought it home, and the next morning we had a cat on the counter, and cats cannot eat lavender. Do not let your cats eat lavender. They'll get sick and throw up on everything. Did yours eat it? Yep. Sure did. He didn't hurl, but he was heaving and, yeah, there's some sort of chemical. They cannot have lavender. Uh, that, that, you know what? That's it's a myth. It's not going to kill them, but it will make them sick. So you don't want to make them sick. You don't want to make them sick, but yeah. So don't let your pets into the poinsettias. Poinsettias. What? If my cat was my boss, my life would be perfect. I feel like my cat is my boss. You know these. Damn, it is. They, these damn cats run the whole house. They run everything. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, it's a new kitchen. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's um, pretty new. No, it was this year. Merry Christmas. Happy anniversary. No, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Happy anniversary. Merry yeah. Christmas. Happy birthday to you in January. We're, let's cover all of this. It's all the gifts for a while. Roland, you do not put poinsettia leaves in their food dish. <laughs> You're trying to get in trouble. Hey, shingles are ready. Yeah, this is the shingle part. Any of you guys ever have this before, SOS? First time I had it, I was not sure, but I couldn't stop eating it. My yeah. friend Jerry Ann brought it to the radio station. She was like, yeah, it's SOS. I'm like, okay, I don't even know what that is. And then I sure. tried it. Yeah, and then I loved it. You liked it. Okay, I'm going to go back to this camera, Curtis. Oh, we're going back over to the other camera, Curtis. Other camera activated. All right, so this is the shingle, like I said, and this is the, mm-hmm. And you're just going to pile it on there. That's why you want this kind of thick. If you don't like mushrooms, don't put mushrooms in it. You don't have to. It's, you, if you like that chip beef, use that instead of the ground. If this is ground beef and, and, pork. and pork. Again, you can just use ground beef if you want to. It's really up to you. Try and do this a little fast. Lori says she comes from a Navy family, so, so, so of course she's had it. I come from an Army family, so we, I grew up with this stuff. I don't remember what we called it. We didn't call it. I never had this growing up. No? Oh, yeah. It was a staple. Because it was cheap and quick, and I'm making a mess of this plate. All right. Yeah, you're plating it on it. I'll work on it. No, no, it's fine. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mo, go back over. All right, switching over to the Din Din can. Heidi says he puts it on greens because she doesn't eat bread. Heidi, I wish I had that problem. Yeah, I wish I didn't eat bread either. Puts it on greens. I guess you could do like a lettuce wrap with this stuff, huh? I don't could know about that. no, could do a lettuce wrap. With this? Yeah. Somebody's getting a phone call. Yeah, it's your other phone. Sally's getting a phone call. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm going to take 
I'm going to use some Parmesan cheese. Again, you use what you like. Now, is this, have you tried this before, this Parmesan cheese on this? Nope. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt it. Why are you scared of cheese? I, I don't know. It's just you're adding a lot of stuff to the to the poop. Boy, put it in your mouth. <laughs> you're trying to fancy up a. And by the way, if you ever want to grow herbs and you think you can't, chives are really easy to grow. Really easy. Cilantro, not so much. All right. Where's my mouth? All right. Here we go. You know what on a shovel. Yep, SOS. And right down it went. <laughs> Did that get on your shirt? Well, that was my fashion place. <laughs> okay, oh, whatever. Okay. I could have let you go to the convention center smelling like ass, but I didn't. <laughs> you wouldn't have made the drive. No, I wouldn't have stood anywhere near her. I wouldn't have gone in. It's so really bad. Good. The bread is nice and crispy. Um, it's it's not so, it's not a spicy dish. It's just nice and hearty and warm and comforting. I hope you try it. And again, if you want to make it for breakfast, with like a side of, of eggs, this would be great. Appetizer at a holiday party, or even on a bigger piece of bread for dinner. Uh, Paul Michael is wondering, can Sally create a dish inspired by the hole in one on December 2nd, 2022 <laughs> at hole nine at Jupiter Dunes that he got? So I need to create a dish called hole in one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think on that. All right. Mo, you want to try it? Yeah, absolutely. All right. SOS, I, I can't I can't do both. All right, here we go. I love that crunchy bread. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Now, Curtis, would you like me to bring some of this crap to you tomorrow? <laughs> um, if you like, you like, you know, don't stress yourself out if you, if it's easy. Oh, I got we got plenty. Yeah, okay. That's good. It is good. Mm-hmm. Give it a try, guys. SOS, get the uh, recipe, 1055online.com. It's also on the feed there if you want it. Uh, I remember, I forgot to put the bread up there. So yeah, I'll, you will I'll need take bread. Care of that tomorrow. Uh, brought to you by Doris Italian Market and Bakery with six locations in South Florida. Uh, we were at the North Palm Beach location today, and that's where we got this wine on sale. This wine does pair good with the SOS. It does. Angeline Pinot Noir on sale at Doris. Uh, Lori likes your nails, Sally. Oh, thank you. Well, it's kind of old, so don't get too close. Oh, God. I, I got it for the um, food and wine event because they matched my dress. Mm -hmm. The dress that got bad cat food all over it, so yeah. I couldn't. <laughs> then it no longer matched the dress. It no, no longer matched no. the dress. It's totally <laughs> off. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's it, right? We're done? We're done. Turk, are you done? Uh, no, Turk's not done. He's gonna keep. Uh, he's gonna keep bitching all night. Uh, all right. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, seven thirty. We have tickets to uh, Zoo Lights at the Palm Beach Zoo. We got that going on tomorrow. Uh, and uh, tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah. No Throwback Thursday song battle no. because we play all of the Christmas songs. So we got nothing left. But uh, we will have some fun. Yeah. On the show tomorrow. This is our last recipe video. Of the Yep, last recipe of the week is SOS mm -hmm. until 2023. Go out with a bang. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Go out with a bang, literally. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye, we'll everybody. see you tomorrow. Happy holidays. Thank you. Good night. Bye.